Charges could be filed at any time in a bizarre and disturbing double homicide case here in mid-Michigan. Two women were found beaten to death this morning. Police tell us they caught the killer before he got to two other potential victims. The investigation started at 2.40 this morning when a woman reported a man knocking on her door near the Lansing Mall. She said he texted her saying he spared her because he loved her and that he'd been, quote, ridding the demons of some dear friends of his. Deputies tracked him down near Charlotte and they say he showed them pictures of two dead women on his phone. The bodies were found at the Knights Inn on Grand River in Meridian Township and at a home off Aurelius Road in Delhi Township. Fox 47's Carla Byron talked to neighbors who were shocked. That hit close to home. I mean, I have four kids, so walking outside, seeing something like that definitely like, it made me shocked. The neighbors are all pretty friendly, so I knew it had to be some kind of an outsourced outside source of a crime. Pictures of two dead women on the 26 year old suspect's phone led police to this apartment in Delhi Township where they found a dead 26 year old woman inside. One neighbor says the woman kept to herself. She just like always walked up to the trash or stand in front of her doorway. She didn't really say hi to nobody or talk to anybody. Never had any issues of violence here. Um, so to hear that uh, it was a, a, a homicide and kind of to see some of the de other details was, you know, frightening, really. A 32 year old woman from Williamston was also found dead inside a room at the Knights Inn on East Grand River Avenue in East Lansing. Police say both women died from blunt force trauma and they did know the suspect. Thankful to the uh, police departments and all the people that it sounds like he's been apprehended. Neighbors feeling relieved the man was caught quickly after learning police say he had at least two other targets. I'm glad they, they caught him and they got that taken care of for sure. Police say he did have his sights on killing two other women but was stopped in his tracks. Now police aren't releasing the names of the victims yet.